Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna recreate for you this, which is my vision for the end of the summer. It's an explosion of color, it's a celebration of the end of the season, but a beginning of a new season, a new chapter in our life. So I wanted to recreate an explosion of colors with ton of colors on the face, on the eyes, on a beautiful bright um, fuchsia lips, and with it, a pretty plain face, focusing in these both parts of the faces. So let's get started to this uh, end of the summer party. Well you guys, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the eyes by priming with a This is Smashbox Eye Primer. You know, this will prevent the eyeshadow from creasing and also make them last longer. Then I'm gonna start creating some um, color base. I'm gonna be using a blue cream eyeshadow all over the lid, blending into the crease. And then I'm gonna be using for the bottom lash line also a cream color eyeshadow. This time it's going to be a very vivid green. Now that we have the base done, I'm gonna move to powder out shadow. I'm gonna be taking this Arabic shadow, Arabic night sleep makeup palette and taking this deep blue and apply from the central of the lid all the way upwards and blend it into a crease. And for the rest of the lid, I'm gonna be taking this more vivid type of um, sparkly blue eyeshadow from the Sparkle um, makeup palette from also a slick. To work our crease and create my nice blending, I'm gonna be using Peach Smooth, which is a peach, very soft, neutral type of uh, matte finish eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and work it out well there. Then I'm gonna be adding also kind of sparkly green, dark green on the bottom lash line. To open up my look, I'm gonna be adding this champagne pigment in the bottom lash line on the tutored area. And to intense the look, I'm gonna be applying a black pencil on the bottom and upper waterline. Then I'm gonna do my um, eyebrows. I love to do my eyebrows. I started with one product that I have to go back to my Ila Masca Precision Gel. I love it. Then I'm gonna brush it to make it, to make them more integrated. Mascara wise, I'm gonna be applying just one coat of mascara because I wanted to apply false lashes and remember when you are applying the glue, leave it to get tacky. That will make it easier to apply the lashes and they will make it to last longer. Eyes done, moving to the face. Clean up any possible pulls down and then start applying the concealer. I'm gonna be applying a little lighter shade concealer so I give a little brighten it up to my face. I also conceal my dark circles and then I'm gonna be applying a little bit on the arch of the eyebrow to keep some light there. Then I'm gonna apply my foundation with a beauty blender to give that beautiful dewy finish to my skin. Give it a little bit of highlight and also contouring by using this uh, Sculpt Motif Ice Palette and I'm going to be applying the light shade on the, be below my eyes, on the top of my cheekbones and then I'm going to be using the darker to sculpt to my face. This is, has to be optional and adjust to what you like to be sculpted into your face or what type of contouring are you up to. Another trick for dry skin is to use your setting powder or your beauty blender that will give a very dewy effect and set it at the same time. Then I'm gonna be giving a little bit of bronze to my face, just concentrate on the upper of the cheeks and also bring into the temple and we're gonna move on to the lips. If you know me, I will normally go for the new lip shade 
but lately I've been very into really intense colors on lips so I didn't want to miss this opportunity to mix this intense makeup with a beautiful foxy lips so I'm gonna line my lips and then fill them in with this matte finish lipstick look amazing we're gonna spray a little bit of satin makeup spray on my face and we are done this is our part of your colors for the end of the summer Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial that you will put your hands into practice and recreate it. If you do so, please share the picture with me on my social networking. I would really love to see it on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook or even in Snapchat. You'll find all the details below in the description below the video. Also, you'll find there a list of products that I use. But remember, you can substitute any product on my list with anything that you have on hand or the color that matches this makeup. It will work also. The work don't worry about that I'm throwing things away so as always thanks for spending some time with me don't forget to leave me a comment telling me whatever you want to see in the video just saying hi and subscribe to the channel and click below here so you don't miss any of my tutorials see you next one and be happy ciao